Hello, my dear friend. My name is David Cortez, and this is my website www.david-cortez.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about T programming, and exactly we will do together step by step this program, C program, binary to decimal. This program converts a sequence of binary digits into a decimal number. Inside my website you can find the PDF, you can download it, you can print it, you can study, you can do what you want. So let's do step by step this program. Uh, I use uh, code blocks that is uh, an open source cross-platform IDE. So let's do together uh, a new project, console application, T, project title, we call it uh, binary to decimal. Ok, we use the, as a compiler the new GCC compiler. Ok, so we need to click here inside the sources folder main.c We can do the text On Windows you must click uh, Ctrl plus So we can change return 0 in exit success underscore success for writing these, you need to include the standard library, standard library.h. So we can cancel the hello world. Okay, inside the main function, we have these variables integers, and the variables are n, i, d, d, n, semicolon. So dn is equal to 0 at the beginning, semicolon, and we write the comment dn is the decimal number. So printf, because we want to print on the screen, number of digits, So number of digits can F because we want to read inside parentheses inside quotation marks percent D because we want to read a uh, an integer and percent N this, this symbol and percent is important because it is a scalar so it gives the address of this variable to the function. So, as a comment, we can write n is the number of digits. So, we need a for loop for i that is equal to 0, semicolon, i less than n, semicolon, i plus 1, and i is the index. Ok, the for loop is... Uh, inside the for loop we need to write if i is equal equal 0 print f inside parentheses inside quotation mark backslash n because we want a new line digit percent d lsb equal to i plus 1 else if i is not so exclamation mark equals uh, the meaning is not so if i is not zero ampersand ampersand that is and 
I is not and minus one between braces uh, we write uh, print up backslash n because we want a new line digit percent d is equal to and this is i plus one else if i is equal equal to a n minus one between braces we write print f back slash n because we want a new line digit percent d because it is an integer msd the meaning of msd is the most significant bit instead lsd is the least significant bit so here we write equals comma i plus one semicolon then can f between parentheses between quotation marks percent d because it is an integer and percent d because we want to read the address of this integer where d is the digit so it is uh, or zero or one if d is equal equal to zero or and we write all in this way with two vertical lines d is equal equal to one dn is equal to dn plus d times that we write as a6 how that is the power to i comma i semicolon and else If D is not zero and D is not one, print that inside parentheses inside for the show mark backslash n because we want a new line input not valid return active failure so here we write print test Backslash n decimal the number percent d because it is an integer, the end that is the decimal number that we want. So let's click here build and run this is the problem 
and man of one, ok if so it is i plus plus ok for i is equal to zero i less than n semicolon i plus plus where i is the index ok let's click uh, with the run number of digits 3 digit 1 1 digit 2 1 digit 3 1 the decimal number is 7 perfect so let's do release number of digits uh, for example uh, 6 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 decimal decimal number is uh, 60, 63 ok let's try another number of digits um, 8 and we do 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 decimal number 255 ok so the code is very simple we have uh, four integer variables so in this for loop that is uh, from i is equal to zero i less than n i plus plus uh, we write uh, all these if statements so if and else if if and else if if the input is not valid it exit with uh, uh, an error and then at the end it writes the decimal number if you want to become a software en engineer you must do this exercise every day it is like uh, wax on wax off uh, uh, I, I don't know if you ever watched the Karate Kid, a fantastic movie. So by doing this exercise day by day, you will become a software engineer. So you can visit my website where you can find uh, a lot of interesting information about software engineering, web development, mathematics, physics, chemistry and so on you can find also games like chess so you can play against the cpu as you can see it uh, works perfectly and you can chat with me so you must sign up using an email and uh, Dear friend, your donation is important. Help me update this website and join this community. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.